Hey guys, and welcome back to Surviving Mars! We are, of course, on the surface of Mars, and uh, you might not have been able to tell it, because we got this green stuff on the go. We've got the mysterious mirages, where people inside my colony, including myself, because it turns out I'm actually in the colony, not just like some weird god character, um, have been experiencing some flashbacks, well, hallucinations, but I like to label them flashbacks to a previous time in this planet's existence. We've been experiencing what it is to be one of the previous inhabitants and going around uh, knowing what it is for the, the, the world to be dying around us. Now this tunnel here, this has been building for a little bit of time now and you can see that the shuttles are coming through and doing their job. I'm just gonna like pop up the priority there because if you have a look, we've got, no oh, actually we haven't got that many machine parts but we've got quite a few being produced. So what we really need to do is wait out our time here. Another thing that I wanted to do is you can see from last time we managed to do the alien artifacts research here, alien imprints which drops a whole bunch of artifacts around and if we use our curiosity probe here which should be rolling along I think I think you can move a little bit faster than that uh, should be rolling along. we can then start to get some of these and analyzed yep I know how words work and that will give us a percentage off of all of our research I'm not actually sure how much let's try and find a nice round number so that we can start figuring that out let's just call that two nine and we'll see what we get when we come back uh, let's close this down. It's going to take a little bit of time to tick through, but that should be fine. Another thing that we need to worry about, I think, is starting looking across here. You can see that we are running out of fuel. In fact, fuel produced and full consumed are nearly nearly the same number plus we're refueling rockets so that takes even less there now we would already uh, put this one down uh, from the beginning of the game and then this one we put down last time to expand out uh, it's not enough it's not enough I think we need more so produce fuel refinery uh, I'm gonna just put it into this corner over here uh, I would be looking at some point to be getting more polymer factories on the go but obviously with the three domes that we have right now they're all kind of geared towards a specific thing and it's only these two that can spend any people at all to actually do it. The shimmering lights sweep through the colony, pulling colonist after colonist into ever deeper states of trance. The staff have dubbed the more susceptible ones dreamers, as it seems that uh, witnessing the mirage sends them into a deep hypnotic slumber where they experience intense emotional and physical strain. Attempts to wake up the dreamer have proven disastrous. The colonist scream fell into shock and has been sedated to prevent potential heart attack. Wow. As you read this, we wonder when you will become one of the unfortunate souls unable to take care of the colony. I mean, that's... I mean, already we've got to worry about me as a as a being, right? We've had had colonists come through, live and die, go through the entire process, whereas I, the mighty AI, possibly, have just kind of pushed my way through and not really worried about it. Okay, so this one's good, and we've got a meteor shower incoming. That is not the best. Oh, look, we can get some free science over here, but what I'm actually looking for is these ones. So when we get the free science, we can make them really count. Okay. Has this guy got himself built yet? No, and he's only made two parts. Wow. Just wow. One of Earth's top scientists has a new and intriguing paper on the dreams. An unorthodox it seems uh, it supports the hypothesis that they experience real events rather than hallucinations or an imagined reality. The scientific community on Earth have discarded the paper as rubbish and some have even condemned the author. The chief scientist, however, believes the hypothesis could lead somewhere and wants to run MRI scans as they monitor dreamers, especially while they are in the trance. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. New research on the mystery of the dreamers is now available. Okay, maybe we'll go do that. Uh, is that available down here? Mystery of the dreamers. It's only a thousand science. Let's just let's just pop that up. That, that seems like a great idea. We can get the rest of these later. Uh, what is Curiosity doing over here? Hopefully, maybe have you have you made it? Let's just double click and see what's going on. No, you you've, you've not even charged. Go over, get charged if you can, please. That would be great. And whilst that is charging up, we'll come over and find the target that we're looking for. This one down here. Let let her get a full charge. Curiosity is a girl. It turns out today. That's fine. I'm fairly sure inanimate well it's, it's not inanimate but non-sentient beings can be whatever gender they want right 
So I'm getting alerts for machine parts, and I've noticed that I've only really got one shift on the go here, so I could quite happily expand that out. That might take a few people away from there, but that's cool. And also over here, maybe we could do with another shift here, but I think we're a little bit short of people. Not that short, actually. Go on, let's, let's the do it. Let's have another shift officer going. Ah. Shared his findings on the dreamers with us. Uh, so this must be because we have done the research, yes. To evaluate any potential risk for the colony, he observes them closely, making notes on their behaviour before, both before and during the mirage. But not after. We don't want to know what they're feeling afterwards. Analyzing the result, he discovers that the trance-like state of the dreamers can en be entered through simulated... Yeah, can be simulated through self-hypnosis and breathing exercises. He fi his findings make it possible for us to train children to become dreamers if we believe this course of action is justified. Well, uh, like, it's justified or not, I'm going to do it because it's kind of like a, a, a red flag to a ball. You're like, here, here's another game thing. The so let's do that in schools, right? Confirm the hypothesis. So we'll go to the schools in a second. Indeed, the dreamers experience events which they perceive as real instead of mere hallucinations. We also discover what they all dream. Uh, we also discovered that they all dream the same sequence of events, but they play different roles in it. And what's more astonishing, the actions of one affects all the others. During me a routine medical checks of the tested uh, population, we accidentally discovered the genetic correlation between the neural structures of the dreamers. The fact, this fact suggests that the predisposition to become a dreamer could be hereditary. Ooh. Moreover, the creator of the dreamer hypothesis which led us here has filed an application for acceptance on Mars. Okay, yeah, I'll take, I'll take a genius scientist. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, the number of dreamers strengthens the mirage, uh, yeah, mirages. The n children of dreamers have better chances to be born dreamers. Okay, a genius colonist has been added to the pool. Let's just slow down time a little here. I think that might be a good idea. Uh, what we got? These guys are, are, are proper working. Uh, of course, slowing down a little is still going pretty fast. Shop, uh, the school, not the shop, the school. We need to uh, have a look here. It said we could change and trait. Now, I'm going to go with compose because enthusi enthusiast means that you get some uh, morale boost every time. No, that's nerd. Uh, enthusiast is where you get extra output. Yeah, increased performance boost when at higher mor high morale. That's good. Compose is just like people are a little bit more resilient to sanity loss. Uh, nerd, you get extra morale every time research is both. So it's the composed I'm going to drop out of that. I mean, like they're all good. They're all good, but I think that's that's the one we're going to go for. We appear to have a bit of a water shortage. Can you please build my... Oh, oh the, the tunnels are building, but I'm a little worried about that. This... This is a bad thing. Oh, they're getting close. They're doing damage. I'm worried about that. Do we have... We do have a drone around. Oh, look, look, look. Something has taken stuff out here. But these guys are doing their work, so that should be fine. Once this gets taken care of, these are all going to get taken care of. When they're taken Sector care of, these should start I'm getting really fixed. Down. And when all these get fixed, we should hopefully... Oh, look, we can turn this one back on. Did I not? Must Maybe be connected to a power green. producer. Oh, because we're... We've got a problem here. Do we have a problem here? Let's have, let's have a look. Why do, why is this not connected? Is it is it like that? Oh oh oh, dude, dude, Resources you've got to run. You've got to run. Get going, little drone. No. Why? Why? All right, let's do this one as well. That that now connects everything up, right? Hopefully that if if things are good. Oh look, we've had we've had even more impact. Is this metal now? Oh, that is oh, it's terrible terrible small amount of metal but i'm sure we can live with that uh, i think we're gonna like stay live whilst we've got the uh, the raining meteor impacts let's try and do that i'm gonna look around and try and find another one of these i'm a little worried about sending curiosity down here ah, someone save this little road uh, this little drone where, where are the little drones there, there should be more around somewhere you have like got three they're all repairing stuff over here okay that's that's fine if they repair this then we should be able to go over there uh, uh, duration remaining 20 hours. Is, are there more falling around here? There are more falling around here. I'm a little bit worried about this stuff, though. Please, please do not break my stuff. Where are you going? Where, where are you going? Command, uh, commanded by spirit. you just like, yep, yeah, this rock is now my... I don't, why would you go all the way around? You're going in here. What? This rock? Is this where you're going? Is, is this what you're doing? I don't need the drone tool tip. Please leave me be. Okay. All right. That's a thing. Well, I'm going to let them do that. That's that's fine. I've got no problem with that at all. I do have a little bit of problem with them not fixing stuff there. That's all within bounds, so it should be fine. Oh, 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 oh. 
Is that another rock? Can we... No, we can't select that one. Okay, that that is fine. We've got about 12 hours to go now, so we're over halfway through this. Up this end, what's going on? Do we have more productions going on? Have we lost Anomaly some polymer analyzed. production? We have, but not a lot. Uh, Curiosity has done her thing. The, I don't want to swap them all to Dreamer. Is that something we I want to do green. now? Like, th let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make everybody a Dreamer. The more Dreamers we have, the more we're going to advance the storyline, right? That's that's my plan. That's my thought process. I hope it's I hope it's true. I hope that's way the way things work. Um, I might even put a infirmary night shift on at some point. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, people cannot game. People cannot be social. Uh, relaxation is full. Okay, we've got we got we got some problems here. Uh, so this thing needs. It's got 24 hours. Ah, ah. Okay, we need to lose something. Let's have a look. This nursery is actually empty. So let's get rid of it. We'll yeah, we'll we'll live with that. And we need relaxation, social. I mean, there was a lot there. I want this this dome to be like the breeding dome so we want to make sure that they're doing all right gaming relaxation social and playing relaxation social and playing i'm not sure if we can get all of those in one building it would be nice if we could uh these do relaxation exercise and playing i mean it's close it's close it's the lack of social that worries me there what else can we do i mean exercise and social is the exercise yard but it's huge it's huge luxury gaming gambling i mean do do we finally crack i'm thinking hard do we finally crack and put in the casino Oh, it's too big anyway. Low. All right, let's put the electronic site in. No, that's not relaxation. I, I think we're just going to have to go for one of these. Um, do we... Small lake? Big lake? Whichever size lake that is. That should help out pretty well there. I'm hoping. I really do hope. All right, what else have we got going next? The, uh, the meteor storm has finished, but let's move curiosity around. Just uh, go and get this last bit. I think that is the last bit. If we zoom out here, we should be able... Oh, there's another one really close here. Get this instead. Um, there should be like six around. I think when we've done that one, we'll actually take curiosity back for a charge and then go off after that one. I just thought now would be the time to come and check the research. I think we're down to about half the price. Like these are these are cheap now, like cheap, cheap. These are these are pretty good. Biotech is still pretty expensive. Let's have a look up that end. But it has scaled with the rest, so I suppose that's good. Oh look, we can do a hanging gardens, a beautiful park complex that greatly improves the comfort of all residents. Hmm, that that that'll be good. That would be good at some point. We're starting to get some pretty extreme tech opened up here. The mohole mine. Uh, Mohole is a shaft that digs exceptionally deep in the Martian crust, releasing heat as part of the potential transforming effort, and as a bonus mining ore. Ooh. I mean, ore is nice. We seem to have a lot of malfunctioning pipes here. Let's go and have it. Are they all like down this way? The majority of them are, but the, the drones are working. That one, the, there should be drones working on that as well, and there's one over there. That, that looks like it's been absolutely ripped to pieces. I remember because this was outside of the drone hub reach. Look at that, yeah. What I wanted to do was salvage these, but I didn't know about this button at the time, so now I can just do this, rip it all back to, to basics, and that should uh, sort out that problem. Now, this car over here, Curiosity, you got a little bit of problem with power so if you could come over here and sort that out that'd be good let's dismiss that all techs are reduced let's dismiss that as well because we know that that's a thing uh low on resources metals and machine parts Research now they are complete. being made but we're making them as fast as we can uh let's have a look we've got metals produced 29 and from surface deposits nine let's not worry about the de uh, surface deposits uh consumption and maintenance are 19 so we should have a fair amount of uh, excess metal there so i'm not worried too much about it i'm a little bit worried about the concrete not that worried though, not that worried. Let's have a look down at the actual machine parts. Let's start. Mm, I still don't understand why I'm so low on machine parts. I've got such a buffer between maintenance and production. Such a buffer. 
Now, let's do this last anomaly together. I don't know if it's going to mark anything important or whether it's just going to be a cumulative amount of char- Oh, man. I thought I thought you got charged up. Oh, well. That's, that's, that should be good enough. That should be good enough. Now, another thing I'm going to be thinking about is how to get water from here and up because that's, that's one of the last remaining nice and easy to get to water sites. We probably want to try and get ourselves a system coming down here. I mean, look at these materials. We could definitely put down a dome here to grab these materials. We've also got some deep, deep metals around, but the deep ones aren't that great for us. It's 880 here. That's that's pretty good. Knowing where to set my next dome up is the big struggle that I've got right now. I I, I do keep often coming to this point because it's closer to my my main base, if you will. But is that really how I want to live my life? huddling in the same corner all the time being like this is fine I like this place it's good for me uh, I, I don't know I don't know if that's where I want to live let's just turn up the time here a little bit machine parts running out again again despite the fact that I have a healthy healthy amount of uh, buffer uh, I just don't know what's going on with that okay that is all of the uh, the artifacts research so that's pretty tasty let's let him go and charge up over there hopefully he'll make it though if he doesn't i can definitely make sure that we get a, a, a drone ship out to him because they charge up it's power shortage overnight 72 water surplus has water dropped off the radar all of a sudden at night that could be a thing that could be a thing are these now working yes all right, lovely stored. Oh, oh, we've we've greened. We have greened. What is going on with the green? Are we going to be told you anything? As the mirage washes over you, taking you deeper into the trance. The next thing you know, your cow once again. You're sitting in your Spartan office, rereading the letter you got from your mother. I presume Spartan is in sparse and very empty, not as in like, you know, wears a helmet and screams about it being Sparta. Uh, Every letter of handwriting bears the emotional imprint of grief and desperation, and you fail to remain calm. She's writing to ask for your help as a steward to the Watcher Boar, a powerful representative of the authority you've been serving for almost a decade now. The dust storms and the drought have hit the clan badly in the recent cycles, bringing the horrors of starvation upon them. The neighbouring clans have already given in to the uh, merciless heat and fled to the cities. Heat! Heat! Abandoning the empty dry husks of their home trees in the rotten sun. Heat! On, on Mars? It's cold out here. You're afraid that it won't be of much help to your clan. From what you've witnessed so far, you, are well, uh, you know well that the authority is aware of the hardships the farming clans are facing, but denies the severity of the drought. Really, so they know, but they're like, nah. Above all else, you fear the reaction of your master, yet your loyalty to your mother leaves you with no other choice but to talk to him. All right, well, fine. We'll go talk. Approach turning to face you before you can so much as utter a word. Cal, I already know what's bothering you. Or you presume that such an obvious thought would, wouldn't have surfaced? Of course not. Anyway, I strongly recommend you not give ways to such lowly concerns. Cal, look at me. Do you truly believe the lies your mother has fled into your... <laughs> lies? My mother? My mother would not lie. Has fled into your heart. Do you believe that the authority would allow their people to die in vain? These thoughts are forbidden, and you know what the punishment is. I mean, like, what is my punishment for thinking these... Th for believing my mum over my boss? Um, you shiver when he mentions it. He smiles at your reaction. You have been such a good steward all these years, and I know that you would never betray my trust. This nonsense ends now. Do we have an agreement? I mean, like, I've already said yes, so we'll do it, right? You stand huh? next to the Watcher as he gives a speech before the Chamber of Labor. Later that evening, okay, this this event is purely for show, as is the enthusiasm for which the public applauds the Watcher's last words. Not that they have any other option, any misdemeanor is an instant trip to the re-education station. <laughs> what a great, great phrase, re-education station. You can see from people, uh, you can see some people in the crowd who are clan representatives from the neighbouring farm. Almost the entire region is gathered here. You have to show them the truth, that the authority doesn't care about them, but that, that, uh, that they are alone. Maybe then it will make a change. You jump out in front and telepathically project the message. You keep it to yourself and wait for a better time to act. Now, see, if I was in... in like, if we were playing Cal's story full time, we could be like, all right, now's not the time. We've already been threatened with re-education. We'll come back at it. 
But I don't know whether we're going to come back to be Cal again at any time. Like, because I have a feeling if we do this, we're just dead, right? We we are literally at the Great Gathering. Patience is a virtue. You can practically hear your clan mother saying it now. You keep your mouth shut and calm your thoughts, hoping that Bore is distracted enough from the conversa uh, by the conversations with the rich industrialists not to notice your momentary excitement. You know that your time will come soon. Wasting the opportunity to help your clan now won't do any good. You wake up back in your room, back on Mars, with a feeling of purpose and relaxation. Ah, oh, I'm all chilled. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Well, there we go. Storyline is unfolding. Ooh. Sector scanned. So how do I know how many people this is passing the dreamer trait onto? Like, oh, 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 what's going on here? Are, are you, are you there? Are you there? Uh, outside the workforce, child status dreaming. Ooh, what about you? Are you dreaming? I've, I've not seen this before. You're homeless and unemployed, dude. Dude, we could we can do something for you. Uh, residents visit. Uh, we can't. He's not going to give me any information here about why he's got a thing on the go, is he? Healthy as a bull, he's very sane, and he's quite religious. That's that's nice. Social relaxation and shopping. I think we've got all those taken care of. He's he's not having a great time though, is he? With his hallucinations, they don't they don't like it that much. But I'd like to try and induce it in more people in my world. I think that'd be a good idea good idea so it, it appears to be doing a thing it definitely appears to be doing a thing look here's another one Ooh. workplace machines parts factory so we've lost one you, why is a scientist in the machine place machine parts factory you, sh you should be here you should be here so we can fit a dome down this way and then we could put a little bit of a tunnel going from Sector here to the to the Another system. Let's see let's see how far a tunnel would go from here. I'm actually interested here. So we go from about here. I mean it would go all the way to here. That's that's pretty cool. Can we go over this far? Yeah, what about over here? Oh, this this is even better because we got the main depot just there so if we can put that one like so yep i like that i like that we should have a little bit of a power line running through we don't right now but i'm going to make that a thing so we can start getting like round and connected systems on the go speaking of let's just do that and that then makes this an entire loop so if we get hit anywhere along here by meteors things should be fine i'm even tempted to come up here and do it like that as well maybe even take the pipes up that way just just for more redundancy though i don't know if that's a thing we need a thing we do need though the machine parts so i've just noticed that this building had a few unemployed this dome sorry had a few unemployed people so i've opened up a second shift of the machines parts factory it seems to have worked out fairly well for us we've lost one person from the farm uh and that's about Research it actually so i'm not that bothered about that at all the dome bioscaping that's nice if i remember correctly it's actually the one that gives us yeah residents in basic domes have improved comfort nice nice so now that this drone hub has got itself up and running nicely through the tunnel, I've taken Spirit, where have you gone, through this tunnel here and have taken her around towards this new building site. Ah, oh, we've got a building idle without any deposit. So let's break that and uh, then we'll get back to what we're doing over there. Now the real question is, do I just want a small dome? I think we just want a small dome. I, I seem to be doing all right running these guys out of small domes, especially with the shuttle hubs running around. So I'm, I'm going to be cool with that. Let's get a basic dome. Make sure that we've got the coverage on the metal metal building over there, the metal resource. Uh, I think, yeah, like that is how we want to do it. Now, it's going to take a little while for things to get delivered, but at the same time, we probably want to have ourselves a bit of a storage site right here. Okay, I'm looking back at this dome again, and we've got two unemployed with zero vacant work slots. So I think I'm going to open the polymer factory back up, and that should get everybody flowing quite well. We've got full employment at the electronics factory, so that's pretty good. Food is still ticking over incredibly well, so I can't see anything else that we need here. Uh, is this sorted by... I want, to, I want to put the the exercise, the fit people here, and that would be a perk, right, maybe? Let's have a look. Workaholic, sexy, I, I don't see fit anywhere. Is it on the end here? Okay, I want to, I want to move all fit people in here. Let's, uh, let's apply that. It looks like that might be the case anyway, but we'll, we'll just have it so people want to move in down here if they have a, a fit predilection. 
Okay, so this section over here of concrete, we've got 198 actually left inside it. I'd like to, first off, get rid of these wires here. They're, they're a little bit in my way. And now let's try and figure out how we can get the very last of the concrete out of here. Let's go for the concrete extractor. We can go sideways, right? And we come in like this. What have we got access to? 16. 16 resource that's pretty bad but if we want to try and pick it all up that's exactly the type of thing we need to do you can see up there okay i'm going to do one of these and um, we're going to get the non-blocking section um, here maybe i think that would be great and we can't do this bottom one uh because there's not enough room so that that should work out pretty well for this spot here we're still waiting on that new dome to get built uh the tunnel is itself is taking the trouble uh but you know that was kind of expected there are indeed waiting on machine parts over here we've got a dome being built we've got almost all the concrete in place this guy came down and helped with the delivery but the majority of the work has of course been done by the shuttles here let's send you back to the main depot over here it's just nice to have him around for when things are are needed and as you can see metals polymers machine parts it's just what we're waiting on uh, another thing we need to think about whilst i am not thinking about it we need some power cables we need to bring these all the way up to to be touching like that uh, we also want to do the same with life support pipes ah, turns out they are not good enough look look at that did you guys see that uh pipes we want to go over this way and the same with the power that's a little bit upsetting but you know we'll, we'll live with that i've also noticed that i've got some moisture evaporators let's uh let's put a couple of these down that seems like a a great way of getting a bit of a local resource to be produced uh, can we also see what the range of this is can we put another one down like over here with that Would that help that actually does help maybe this way round oh can't do it without overlap yeah like that that does it without overlapping right okay we'll do it like that this is pretty good it says it needs power it's fine as soon as that gets built we will have power let's of course build a water tower as well because we want to make sure we don't run out and uh, whilst i would build an entire moxie station just for this place i think as it's just for this I mean, literally just for that. Maybe we'll build some polymers here as well. Uh, I think I might just let it have its own oxygen tank and leave it at that. All right, dome complete. The other thing we want to make sure we do, getting a metal extractor down and on that. Of course, we also need to hook this up with power. Let's just do that like that. We then need to uh, get some homes in here. We need some apartments. That's a must. Do we want the... No, I, I was going to say, do we want the metals part, uh, the machines part factory in here? But I, I don't think we do. I think we just want to increase the production elsewhere i'm also looking around at all the other things i think we're doing pretty well here uh, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna have a uh, an apartment let's then put a if uh, infirmary in there yeah let's do that uh infirmary uh some sort of food place let's do the grocers uh, casino is this, is this where we finally put the casino? I, I I really don't want to, but I think we might. And we can put all the gamers down this way. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We'll we'll figure that out as we go on. Is there anything else in particular we're missing from here? I don't think we are. We've got food and we've got uh, health. Everything else is just kind of going to get put together out of whatever's around. Let's go for garden. This is a small garden, so we'll put it back there. And a medium garden can go in here somewhere like that i think i think that's the best way around i was looking at the balance of the three trees um so that's looking pretty good this is outside of drone range i'm fairly sure we can fix that um no oh, no you're not you're not moving like that there we go that that works out pretty well so that that's good i'm wondering whether we want to have our own drone hub down here we, we could do we could do so this is this one good i knew this would finish pretty quick we're gonna burn through a couple of oh look at that concrete resources are burning down uh can we can we see anywhere under like what's it got underneath it like did that even get eaten there that's a question is is that a, a heavy node there i don't know we've got 116 left it, it just doesn't tell me it just doesn't tell me sector scanned 
Oh, look, we've researched Project Phoenix and the uh, new tech needs to get done. That's cool. Uh, Arcology, I don't need. Passenger rockets carrying 20 more. I'm actually having trouble filling up the 12. Uh, we could get the Martian University on the go. That's a kind of an no idea. Not research. really feeling it the best, if I'm to be honest. Uh, factory upgrade, amplify, increase production by 25%. Yep, we'll take that, even if it does cr increase passenger... Uh, power production as well oh look with these two we can get like 30 more colonists on board that's 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 more than double what we can carry so far um extra medical spire i'm not interested martian born colonists graduate faster in university and sanatoriums and have a higher chance to gain perks from schools bam getting that one that's going to help our dreamer um dreamer wants Martian patents, not so interested in that. Lowers risk of colonists developing flaws after sanity breakdown. We'll take that as well. Anything that helps my people. I've got to keep my people sane. Got to keep my people sane. Uh, I think that'll do for research for now. I think that will do. And with that, I think I'm going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we need to populate this dome. I mean, give it a proper drone drone habitat. Not more drone hub, whatever we call them. I'm going to call them drone habitats from now on. Uh, get ourselves all sorts of things are working out to make this an a-ok -okay dome does this really not have any power down here can the power not be shared via the cable well we'll have to see next time so i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye